Password protecting cells, sheets and workbooks can prevent people from amending specific areas while still allowing them to amend others. This is particularly good if you are sharing a spreadsheet or to prevent yourself from accidentally deleting formulas and cells. Any cell or sheet that has been password protected will be read only. Please be warned, if you forget the password, you will not be able to undo the protection. You may want to save an unprotected sheet as a backup or make a note of the password. In this tip, I'm going to show you how to password protect and unprotect a sheet, individual cell or cells and a workbook. Start by selecting all the cells in the sheet, right click, select format cells and then select protection. Check that the locked box is ticked. By default this should be ticked but it's always worth double checking especially if you have been protecting and unprotecting cells. Click OK then go to the review tab and select protect sheet. By default, the select locked cells and select unlocked cells should be ticked. You do have other options here if you want to be more specific. For example, if you don't want people to be able to type in a cell, but you do want them to be able to change the color, you can select format cells. Once you are happy with your choice, enter a password and click OK. Then re-enter the password and click OK. You can check this has worked by trying to enter data into a cell. You will receive this warning. If you want to unprotect the sheet, go back to the review tab, select unprotect sheet, enter the password and click OK. You will now be able to enter data into the cells. You have two options. Option one, lock all the cells and then unlock the cells you want amendable. Or option two, unlock all the cells and then lock the cells you don't want amendable. Basically just the reverse. I'm going to show you option one just to keep it simple, but I will make notes in green for option two. First off, we're going to select all the cells in the sheet. Right click anywhere on the sheet and select format cells. Go to the protection tab. Check that the locked box is ticked and click OK. Select all the cells you wish to make amendable in your Excel sheet. Right click anywhere on the selected cells and select format cells. Go back to the protection tab. This time we are going to untick the locked box. Click OK. Go to the review tab and then protect sheet. Again, we will have the options as before if you wish to be more specific. Enter your password, click OK, and then re-enter the password in the next window. Click OK to go back to the spreadsheet. You can test this by trying to enter data into one of the locked cells. You should receive this warning. Then try to enter data into an unlocked cell. This should input as normal. Go back to the review tab and click unprotect sheet. Then enter the password and click OK. All cells will now be amendable. Password protecting a workbook does not protect the cells. By default, protecting a workbook will protect the structure. So this includes adding, deleting, moving, renaming, hiding or unhiding individual sheets. On some versions, you may have the option to choose Windows. 
This will prevent anyone from changing the size, the position, or from splitting screens. Go to the Review tab and then select Protect Workbook. By default, structure should be ticked. Enter a password and click OK. Re-enter the password and click OK to go back to the workbook. If you now try to delete, rename, hide, etc. a sheet, you will see that all the options are greyed out. If you wish to unprotect the workbook, go to the Review tab and then Protect Workbook. Please note this does not say Unprotect as it does with Sheet, but it is highlighted so you can see that this has a protection on it. Enter the password and click OK. The workbook is now unprotected.